what's up everybody, Ever94 here bringing you an unboxing of the PlayStation Vita Travel Pouch. I'm gonna unbox this guy, uh, this guy right here for you guys and uh, see how it fits with my uh, Vita or how my Vita fits with it. This actually, this is actually a cool box. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird. Uh, you open it right here and you can see what the Vita's made of. You know, it's not a hard case, but it's a... I got this because, of course, the first edition bundle one that came with the first edition bundle Vita. They don't sell those in stores separately, so this is probably the best one to get if you did not get that one. It's made by PlayStation, so it's not a third-party uh, piece of crap or whatever. It costs 20 bucks, pretty expensive, but I wanted this one just because it carries all your stuff. It's not just your Vita, it carries your games, your charger, and your a adapter brick and everything like that, so... You see how big this thing is, and you put the Vita on top, you can see it's almost the size of the box, so it's pretty big, so, here we go. And here we go, I, I just made the cut right here, so, I'm gonna go ahead and open that right here, it's just like that. So, I guess you slide it out right here. It is big. And then, I believe this, yep, there's an instruction manual. For some reason, I guess if you need help with, uh, Putting your Vita in a case. Yeah. So, instruction manual. I know. I guess they gotta do that for everything. And here it is. It's soft. Of course, not a hard case. And I actually thought it'd be fatter, like more bulkier, but I guess not. Uh, you know, bulkier for it can fit your wires in, but I guess it fits in either way. So, there it is. See, I, I believe there's like a cushion inside you need to take out. Let's go ahead and. Sorry, I got one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a big, like, foam thing that you can see right there. Let's see if I can take that out one here. Sorry guys, so, yeah, look at this thing. Holy crap. Jesus. That's huge. Okay. And, you can see right there on the inside, I don't know. That got padding good enough for your Vita. And here are some pictures I took for you guys. Uh, you guys can definitely see it way better than in the video. So I took the, these for you guys. And uh, I labeled everything for you guys. So you guys can see uh, where everything goes and stuff like that. So I hope you guys can enjoy these. And uh, it helps you guys out to better understand how this pouch looks like. So guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned. And then, and it's all black, so it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, kind of hard to see. There's a net, a little net there for, uh, or a little pocket there. There you go, you can see that there. There you go. Uh, a little pocket there for your wires, I believe. And then here, it's little more pockets for your games right there. Don't know if you can see that well or not. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put my Vita in. Now, here's all the stuff. Here's the Vita itself. The uh, USB, the brick, and the uh, wall plug now. And the first pocket, which is right there, I believe that's where the Vita goes. Uh, I would put it facing this way so the screen isn't against the, uh, isn't against the, you know, the wires. I know there's a thing that divides it, so, you know, it won't be that bad, but just to be safe. And if it's perfect, look at that. Nice, nice and neat. Uh, and then we got these two little net pockets, which I showed you earlier. I saw in the picture that the power brick goes in one of them, just like that. And then, in the other pocket, I saw in the picture that the USB goes in the other one, just like that, I guess. I mean, it doesn't go, if you put it straight up, you know, it's going to stick out. So, I guess you're going to have to bend it more, or tilt it to the side. Or what I found was that you just... Sorry guys. You put it sideways like that. And right there. Just instead of putting it in the pocket, just slide it right there. Just in between the you know where the brick is and where the carts are supposed to go. And just like that. And I found out that this does not fit in there. Look at this big old thing. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's not gonna fit in there. Uh people were complaining that this you can't carry this and you need that to charge it, right? <laughs> so um, I guess you're gonna have to carry, carry that separate if you're traveling, uh, which is unfortunate, but you know, 
this is uh, pretty good at least. Uh, you don't have to carry all the wires. You, I mean, you have to deal with this thing, but you cannot put it all together unless you jam it in there. You can jam it in there, but you're gonna risk scratching your Vita and uh, everything. And I know it looks like it's jammed in there, but it's not. Like, it closes up. So there you go. The Vita's in there. The brick's in there, and you can actually see where the brick's kind of like poking out. But you know, it's not. It's not like. It, like it's packed and then here it's like empty because I didn't put nothing in that pocket I just put the wire there so um, I'm pretty sure you can try to put this in there but it's not gonna fit well it's gonna be really really tight and I wouldn't risk anything but the brick isn't that big either so I don't think you really need the brick you can guys try and do it without the brick and see uh, if you can fit this thing in there but the games will probably fit in there nicely I don't think I would put it in here I'll probably just bring the case of the game but if I really need to conserve space I'll put the, the game in there also just wanted to mention that like the material it's it's made of like this really good material that it feels like it feels like water resistant it feels like the material they use for uh, umbrellas you know it feels like the, like well, liquid would not be able to get in here uh, I'm not confirming it I'm not saying that it won't so don't try it and mess up your Vita and blame it on me but I'm just saying that's how it feels like so you know I don't think if it gets wet you know one day you're outside it's raining a little bit uh, I don't think it'd be too bad um, but yeah I'm just letting you guys know and now if you drop this it does have cushion but I don't know how much it will protect it you can also do this this works as well you can put the plug in you know the wall plug wire with the USB in here with Vita and games and keep this out. Put this in your pocket. You know, this is smaller than your phone. You put your phone in your pocket, right? You can put this in your pocket, right? Or maybe in your book bag and stuff like that. Uh, you do need this, but uh, everything, you know, if you, if you don't really want to carry on wires, I managed to put in the USB pretty nice. The USB is on top, like just like that. It's not even touching the Vita. Or it, may, it might touch the top, but it's not going to do anything. And then right there is where the uh, wall plug is. And it's not tight either. You can you know the USB is really small so you can really put that in there as you saw I opened that pretty easy with the Vita in uh, you do need it's unfortunate that you can't put everything in there but you know it's you know it's pretty good and for a travel pouch uh, I mean for something that is not too big you know if they wanted to put everything in I think it would have been way too big so uh, that's probably why but nonetheless nice pouch uh, 1999 if you guys did not get the first edition bundle of the, uh, the Vita and did not get that nice case that came with it this is probably your next best thing right here. And with that said, this is Eero 94 with the unboxing of the PS Vita um, travel pouch by Sony. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe. Peace.